If you enjoy the content of this channel and you find it useful, please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment to the videos. For this question, you have two subscriptions named subscription A and subscription B. There is a storage account in every subscription and every storage account has a file shared named uh, share one for the one in subscription A and share two the one in subscription B. Both file storages were created to serve different regions and the primary source of record is share one. And you notice after a period of time that employees create a number of temporary files like I represented in the next slide and they used these temporary files in order to provide updates to the original files. So I re represented here a number of copies for share one and for share two. Now you want to make sure that share one so the file share named share one is the most up updated and all the temporary files have been cleaned up. All right, and you have four options for possible solutions. Either you create a new container, shared three, and copy the files from share one to share three. You use Storage Explorer in order to replace your files from share two in share three and delete share two. Or you use Microsoft Storage Explorer to compare, copy and delete files in share one and share two. Or you use AZ copy with the sync option to synchronize file from share one to share two, specifying share one as the source and setting the delete destination flag set to true or you delete shared two files and use the AZ copy utility to copy all files from share one into shared two. And the correct answer is that you'd like to use AZ copy with sync option and you want to make sure share one is the primary source of record and shared two is the destination. If you set the delete destination flag to true, this will delete the temporary files and they, they are not present in share one. And the sync options will also ensure that the latest version of, version of the file is retained at both source and destination. So this is exactly what you want to do. You shouldn't use Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer to compare files uh, because actually this is a tedious job and there are could be errors after that. And also it takes a lot of time to manually get both shares in sync. You also, you shouldn't delete share to files because you would lose the changes that you have made to files in share two and that needs to be merged back to share one. And you also shouldn't use shouldn't create a new con share three container because that requires a lot of manually copying from both shares and also users would have to remap their network shares. Another condition for this question that I haven't mentioned from the beginning, but let's say it's something we all understand, it's quite common in IT world, is that your solution should require the minimum implementation time and cost. And the reference for this question is this uh, Microsoft documentation page, transfer data with AZ copy and file storage. And I think it's quite useful to have a look at it, even in real life um, scenarios. So this command will allow you to create file shares. It will allow you to upload files to upload the directory, to upload the contents of a directory or specific files. Um, you can also download files while uh, a directory or a specific file. Um, so 
or you can copy files between storage accounts. This is what we need it. We need here, um, and you can see here that the copy operation is synchronous. So when the command returns, that indicates that all files have been copied. You can also use specific version of a file by referencing date time value of a shared snapshot. You can also and. Uh, actually, here you have all the command lines If you for different situations. If you want to copy a file to another storage account or a directory to another storage account, uh, it allows you to synchronize files. This is what we also needed here. That was a requirement for our question. And uh, I'll let you read the, the other details as well.